Hello and welcome to this overview tutorial for F-Expansion's Tremor. Tremor is a synthesis drum machine, that means no samples. All the sounds are made using analogue modelled synthesis based on our DCAM Synth Squad technology. You can think of it as a synthesizer made especially for drums. Before we dive in and make some noise, let's take a quick look around the interface. In the top left corner we have three tabs. The Pattern tab shows us the current pattern in this screen here. The Graphs tab shows us the four modulation graphs. Each of which are unique to the 24 patterns that you can have in one preset. And finally the Mapping tab shows you MIDI mapping and host automation mapping. Down here are another two tabs. The Kit tab shows a mixer style overview of the current kit where we can change volume, panning, mute, solo and so on for each of the eight different engines. The Synth tab shows the advanced synthesis parameters for the currently selected engine. Finally over here we have the Effects section. The Synth Effects tab is the three insert effects for the currently selected engine and the Master Effects tab is the three insert effects that are on the master bus. So that's the basic interface. Let's load a preset and make some noise. At the top right here we have three preset choosers. Full presets contain the entire state of the plugin, kit, mixer, patterns, etc. Let's load one up. Kit presets contain eight sounds, and so we can easily keep our patterns but load in a different kit. Finally, a drum preset is a single drum. There are two ways of loading drum presets. The main drum menu here, and also at the bottom of each channel there's a quick preset chooser, which means we can quickly step through different presets. For example, if I want to replace the kick in this kit, I can do so very quickly. Let's go back to our main preset and take a look over the kit page. We can see here that each of the eight channels has some synthesis parameters already mapped to it. These are parameters that the sound designers have chosen to make suitable changes to each sound. So you can actually do a great deal of sound sculpting just from the kit page. As well as your usual level and pan controls for each of the channels, Tremor also allows you to assign each one of the channels to an output on the plugin. There are eight additional outputs as well as the master, so every channel can have its own output into your host where you can apply your own effects. Let's take a look at the sequencer now. Notes are added into the sequencer by simply clicking and right clicking to delete. We have typical swing control up here.
and one of the most powerful features is the ability to do polyrhythmic sequences. These white triangles here allow us to put separate loop points for each lane in the sequencer. Drag edits are worth mentioning. By default, the drag edit is set to velocity mode. So if I click on a step and drag up and down, I'm changing the velocity of that step. But we can change the drag edit modes either to repeats, which allows stutter repeats, or to probability. Probability allows you to alter the chance of that step actually triggering based on a percentage. So if I set this step to around 50%, it will only trigger 50% of the time. This is a powerful way of injecting some variation into your sequences. You can have up to 24 patterns in a preset. Used patterns are shown in this light blue colour and unused patterns are shown in this darker blue colour. Patterns can be triggered via MIDI of course and the required MIDI notes can be seen here in the tooltips. So let's take a look at the main synth behind all these sounds. I'm going to select the kick drum channel and switch to the synth tab. The first thing to explain here is probably the modulation system because you'll be using it a lot. If you've used Decam Synth Squad at all, then you'll be on familiar territory. Each of the modulation sources has a button down here on the bottom row. We have fast envelope, a slow envelope, velocity, a random, LFOs 1 and 2, the amp envelope multiplied by velocity, the fast envelope multiplied by velocity, a ramp, a sample and hold, some macro controls, and some global LFOs and graphs. I'll explain more about all these in a minute. All the usual modulation sources you'll find on the bottom row here. In order to apply any of these modulation sources, we select the source, for example Fast Envelope, which is here. We move to our desired destination around the knob and just pull it. We can see there in blue exactly how much our modulation source will affect the filter cutoff in this case. It's a very simple and powerful way of applying modulation. The modulation sources probably require a little bit of explaining. For example, why I have a fast envelope and a slow envelope. In drum synthesis, you often want a very sharp transient and then a longer tail. The fast envelope and slow envelope allows for both of these and their parameters have been tweaked to be suitable for this type of synthesis. Velocity should be fairly self-explanatory. The random modulation source creates a new value for every note. The two LFOs are fairly standard and can be synced to host tempo using these note icons here. The A times V and F times V sources allow you to multiply the amp envelope and fast envelope by velocity, so you can scale the amount of that source via velocity. The ramp modulation source is part of the ramp parameter over here. The ramp allows you to assign a number of repeats and a repeat rate, which is great for emulating sounds like claps. And the ramp modulation source will allow you to alter a parameter across those repeats. The sample and hold is a basic sample and hold with slew. The macro parameters are where we assign what appears on the kit page here. So each of the four macro controls, which are also duplicated here, can be assigned to any parameter you like. And then finally we have global modulation sources. These include two global LFOs and four global graphs. These are global because they're not specific to one of the eight engines, but rather they are the same for all eight engines. 
One final thing to say about the modulation system is that not only can you apply all these modulation sources to the synthesis parameters, but you can also apply them to the effects. And the real power here is that the effects become part of the sound. Let's reset Tremor and do a little synthesis. This is the default sound when you reset Tremor. We'll take a look at the oscillator first because it has some very unique features. It's actually what's known as a cloud oscillator. You can think of it as a bank of eight oscillators, all tuned to different frequencies. And those frequencies have been specially selected to emulate the partials that are created when a natural drum skin is hit. If you look at the visualizer here, you can see what I'm talking about. The eight lines represent the eight partials. I can change the space between them. I can change the roll off. All the way down you can hear there's only one partial and that behaves exactly like a normal oscillator. You're just hearing one single frequency. The peak allows us to change the fundamental partial. There are two modes to the harmonics, membrane and harmonic. Membrane is the special mode that emulates spacing between the frequencies of a drum membrane, so a drum skin when it's hit. And harmonic is much more like a synthesizer oscillator with unison and detune. As well as all these parameters, the oscillator has all the normal parameters you would expect. Pitch, shape, fine tuning, frequency modulation, pulse width modulation and sync. So let's shape this into a bit of a sound. I'll apply some fast envelope to the filter cutoff by bringing it down first. Add some noise into the signal. Overdrive the input of the filter. This can be very important for gelling the oscillator and the noise together. And maybe add some post drive. Just a small amount. We can change the type of filter. Add some sub sub oscillator. And what we've got there is a kind of basic snare sound. From here we can add effects from a whole suite of different effects. Let's try some distortion. Maybe a filter to take off some of the low end. noise is rather nice, it has a stereo width, so you can go from mono noise to stereo. And then maybe add a compressor at the end.
So that's the synthesis in a nutshell. We haven't gone wild with modulation sources. There's all sorts of other things we could do this, but we'll be covering synthesis in more detail in future tutorials. That concludes this tutorial for F-Expansion's Tremor. I hope you've enjoyed it.